Oh boy, that's a smell. It smells like some weird ass 90s candy. Like I can't quite put my finger on it. Like a like a like a Sour Patch Kid, but from the 90s, back when they tasted like perfume. I'm the only one that knows what I'm talking about, where you would eat candy, and you were just like, yeah, candy! Like, you were so excited that you had candy, that you just, like, ate it, you related, you were so happy about it. But then, like, in the back of your mind, now at the age of 30 years old, you're like, yeah, I very well did eat asbestos when I was a kid, and I liked it. Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about XX by Revolution. And this is a new brand or a new line or sub collection, whatever, from Makeup Revolution. These are the same people that have put out, you know, Makeup Revolution, Revolution Pro, Revolution Beauty, all of those. And I originally saw this collection over on Trend Mood with this palette right here. This is the Gravitate Complexion Palette. And obviously, I haven't opened this one yet, but it looked so unbelievably beautiful um, in like the photos and whatnot. For those of you that might not be familiar, Makeup Revolution is known for creating makeup that looks very similar, if not is very much so intended to be like a copycat version of other high-end makeup. And up until now, I actually haven't seen anything that even intrigued me from the brand because I just, I've tried so much of their stuff and don't get me wrong, some of it is pretty decent, but a lot of it just more often than not ends up being not very good. But for some reason, knowing that and, you know, just knowing that their products aren't all always that great, like it's very hit or miss, I still found myself, you know, meandering over to their website, and before I know it, I was looking at the packaging, I was looking at the presentation, and I'll be damned, guys, it got me again, okay? They just, they got me twice, and well, at this point, it's more like three, four, five times, because I've definitely done these videos before, and here we sit, okay? We're just excited, we're ready to jump in, and I think in terms of facial products, I tried to pick up everything that not only I was interested in, but also stuff I thought you guys might be interested in, so I grabbed this. I have a highlight. I have, it looks like two cream blush palettes. Oh God, I don't know what that was, but I have that too. And just, just a bunch of stuff in general, again, that we're going to get into. We're going to test it out and we're going to see if it's any good. So let's go ahead, zoom the camera in and let's get started. Oh, my God. oh no, don't you dare. Do not you dare. Do not you dare fall. Is this too close? It's a little close. Yes. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Could have been killed or worse, expelled. All right, so we're good and zoomed in. Obviously, I did go ahead and tuck my hair back, and we're gonna get started with this primer. This is their Hydra Quench Primer. Essentially, this is a water and aloe vera, like, hydration type primer. Ooh, it smells really good. It smells like watermelon. I'm just gonna take what's on the cap here. Ew, no, 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 no! What is this, you guys? What is this? Can you see on my hand right now between my two front fingers right there? Can you see that, how there's, like, this weird... Oh my god, like string cheesy looking lid. Okay, I took, give you a little little wrap up information here. I took this lid and I just like smeared it on my face. I grabbed the tiniest amount out of here on my finger and I was just like massaging it into my cheek. All of a sudden I look down and this is what's happening. What is this? I need a mirror effective five seconds ago. Oh my god, it looks so gross. Okay, so here's how we're gonna work this first product. I'm gonna say maybe that was a fluke because I did wipe like whatever was on the lid on my face and and like I said, there could have been maybe some um, like separation between the product and what was there. And maybe that was the situation because after I went in with just this product and I like massaged it onto my skin, it doesn't seem to cause like any weird issues. I'm not getting any pilling or anything, uh, which is good. Now, as far as the product itself goes, I can definitely feel it on the skin and it does have a very like thick, um, what I would say is like an aloe vera presence. Like I can feel it. It's dried down, but I can feel it on my skin, like sitting on the surface of it. So going forward with the rest of my makeup, that's definitely something to keep in mind. Now with this line, I didn't grab a concealer, but I did grab their foundation. This is their Liquid Skin Foundation, <laughs> F-A-U-X-X-Dation, and this is their Double Fix Foundation is what it's called. And it says on the back here that this gives you a silk finish. It is long wear liquid skin foundation for full coverage and for a flawless complexion. It's infused with vitamin E and hyaluronic acid to hydrate the skin. And I picked this up in the shade FX5. Okay, so let's just go ahead and talk about this foundation because Holy wow, you guys, like this coverage, I mean, we can start there. The coverage looks beautiful. This is one even coat. I haven't had to go in and build up anything. And I think it just, it blended out beautiful. Application was nice, seamless. And I'm really impressed with the overall level of coverage, again, without having to build. I think that that's very, very nice. Next thing we're gonna talk about is the scent because 
This has a very specific smell to me, and it is the combination of two other foundations. So imagine, if you will, <laughs> that you have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus, like the original $4 or whatever it is, the original one that smells kind of like chemical meets paint thinner. That foundation mixed with like the Too Faced Tutti Fruity <laughs> foundation. If you put those two together, that is what this smells like, and it is almost baffling <laughs> to me like how accurate it is because I first started applying it and I was just like, damn, like that's, <laughs> that's a little bit strong. But then as I started applying it, I was like, what the hell? Like I'm smelling some fruit now. And don't get me wrong, I'm not having like any aversions to it or whatever, like it's not so strong that it makes me keel over, but definitely something to note. Now thing number three we definitely need to mention is the finish of this and the overall texture because this foundation is pulling very matte on my skin, like it's drying down very quickly and it's really starting to settle, which while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to start going in with concealer. Otherwise, this foundation is going to completely dry down. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of my KKW concealer. This is in the shade one. In terms of this foundation, I'm not mad at all that it has that like dry down type feel. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm not the biggest fan of like the, the tacky kind of consistency when it starts to dry, but I think in terms of long wearing, like I'm not surprised. With all of that being said, my concealer is applied and blended out and I'm going to go ahead really quickly and just set my under eyes and through the T-zone with a little Maybelline Fit Me. This is of course in the shade 05 Fair. Alright, so now that those areas are good and set down, we're going to move into cream blush and these are so beautiful like isn't this packaging it looks so luxe these look so beautiful obviously i still haven't tested the formula so we're not sold yet but those look so aesthetically pleasing um this one right here this is the palette overload yeah overload and this one is indulgence right here and these look so gorgeous. So here is the lighter tone shade. I definitely think those lighter shades up there are more highlighter type shades. I, you know, again, just my personal opinion, but they don't say blush to me at all. But then the other four shades are actually pretty nice. Everything is for sure very shiny, but the shades themselves are very pretty. Now for me, the first glaringly obvious thing, aside from the shades that we need to talk about, would be the texture, because these have a very weird, like almost slimy oily kind of vibe to them where for me personally I wouldn't say that these are like a cream consistency especially not if you're thinking of a cream blush in terms of like a Fenty cream blush or like an Honest Beauty cream blush or anything like that that actually has a creamy consistency these are more of like what I would say as an oil consistency so just think in terms of that thinness the reason I'm so specific when it comes to the texture is not only are some of us very sensitive to texture but it's also important to remember that those different textures can have a big impact on the rest of your makeup and the rest of your foundation and how it wears. So for something like this, for example, my biggest fear would be the actual consistency, again, because it does feel more oily, um, the fact that it would lift my foundation versus a cream product which has a thicker consistency and would press into my foundation. See what I mean? There's, there's just a little bit of a difference there. Right, so here's the other palette. I definitely think this one, in terms of like it being a blush palette, is a lot more conventional with the shade choices but even in this one I'd say there are a couple shades that give me much more of a highlighter vibe than anything. So in terms of comparing these two palettes for me personally I like the one with the actual blush shades in it the one that looks a little bit more blushy I guess you could say and then also in terms of formula I also don't like that in the lighter toned one a lot of these have glitter in them instead of actual color versus like these ones right here these two brighter shades that you see on my hand those are actually all pigment like this one right here here is a beautiful bright pink and there's no glitter in it but a lot of these shades in the lighter palette they do have like a gold glitter and a silver glitter in them and as you like sheer it out onto the back of your hand you can actually see it and for me personally it's just not like my vibe especially not for a blush again maybe for a highlight yes but definitely not for a blush so I think for today I am going to go in with this brighter shade right here and I'm just going to go on the butt of a clean sponge and I'm just going to give myself just a little blushy moment Ooh, ooh, oh boy oh 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 that's a lot bright oh that's a lot brighter than I thought it was gonna be oh boy oh boy oh boy okay okay it's okay Paige it's okay calm down we can fix this we can fix this oh man you guys come on I, mm, I was just I was literally just saying like right before I looked even closer I was just on the verge of being like oh my god that's actually really pretty and it didn't lift my foundation and it lifted my damn foundation 
all over my cheek. Oh, come on. Like, I'm so bummed right now. Because even on camera, like, I was able to work it out. It looks really good. It has a really pretty flush to it. And now it definitely lifted my foundation. Now, my curiosity is definitely getting the better of me today because I want to try one of these as a highlight so bad because, I mean, we're, we're already here. This is already a thing that's happening. So I kind of feel like we should just embrace it. And I think I might want, like, this lighter shade up here in the palette here. This is in the lighter palette. And I'm going to take just a little bit of it. Let's do it on this side so that way you can see it too. I'm going to take and just kind of pounce that in to the skin because again I just I just feel like this looks much more highlighter rific oh god <laughs> no! oh no don't do that don't do that mm -mm, don't don't oh god okay I'm so sad <laughs> guys I'm so sad right now these I do not like oh I so do not like these oh my god am I so upset right now oh like legitimately it just tore up my whole foundation like right in that area Oh my god, and it looks so thick and so chunky on my skin, too. Oh, stop it right now! It looks so bad. All right, so really quickly, just as a way to set everything down, I went in with a little Too Faced Born This Way powder. This is in the shade Cloud, and we're using that just so we can kind of sweep past that whole cream debacle. Here's the situation. Right now, my skin desperately needs a hit of setting spray, especially around my mouth, so we're gonna go ahead and go in with one of these. I picked up their Glow Fix Brightening Fixing Mist and their Hydra Fix hydrating fixing mist and I think of the two I think I'm gonna go in with the hydrating one because I feel like that's what my skin really needs right now so let's go ahead and take this out of the container oh wow these are beautiful like did you see the packaging on that this is very aesthetically pleasing I like this I like how sleek it looks so let's give a practice spray the smell is not bad it definitely has a perfume fragrance to it but it's not overwhelming and it does dissipate, so not too shabby. The spray itself isn't bad. Okay, let's go ahead and spray my hand. Because y'all know I ain't trusting absolutely nothing right now. Okay, it doesn't appear to be giving me any weird, like, glitter or any weird sheen or anything to the skin. So let's go ahead here. I'm just going to go in with a few spurts. Well, that's kind of doing its thing and settling into the skin. Let's go ahead and move on to the bronzer, which I picked up this fella. This is their XX Matte Bronzer, and I have it in the shade Chaos. And the packaging is actually really beautiful. The color is very rich. Okay. And actually, you know what? Let's pause really quickly because I think there's a matte bronzer in this one, which is the trio that I picked up. And by the way, this is the palette in the uh, the version Gravitate. That's the color scheme that I picked up because I believe this was the lightest option they had. Oh, wow. That's it. That is a silky ass bronzer feeling. Holy cow. Okay. So this one is the one out of the trio right here. Actually, why don't we go ahead and just, <laughs> why don't we just swatch the whole trio? I mean, since how, while we're here, the highlight in the center, that's only like a single swipe over top. It's not super impressive. And this right here is the single one that I bought in the shade Chaos. So comparing the two, I would say Chaos is definitely... Um, it's more matte than the one in the palette, that's for sure. This one has a little bit more of a satin vibe. But I do think in terms of the actual shade, I think I'll have a little bit better luck with this one. So I'm just going to go in here with my Sigma. This is the F50 Duo Fiber. And I'm just going to go in very, very light-handed. And, I mean, very lightly start kind of sculpting out the face. Because I can see this getting away from me very, very fast. Actually, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Is that pulling orange? Does it look orange to you? Because it looks a little orange to me. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, hold on. All right, let's just put this one down. Let's just put him down for a second. Um, let's grab a different brush, okay? Let's grab this. This is my Scott Barnes 68. It's just another clean duo fiber. And uh, let's try a little bit of this one here. This is the one out of the palette. All right, so for this one, I'm gonna start off on this side of my face and lightly start just kind of buffing it in again i'm going in with a very very light hand boy oh ho, ho, boy <laughs> the two of these together this is, this is quite a fun day i'm having right here all right so i think <laughs> truthfully i think that the one out of the single pan the shade chaos i think that one is a little bit too like orange on me but then this one out of the palette i think pulls a little bit too red undertone for me so <laughs> like neither of these shades is actually working for like my specific uh, skin tone and my undertone don't get me wrong it's not the end of the world or anything i just i i would never uh <laughs> 
like, what is this? What is this literal shit strip on my face right now? Like, at this point, it doesn't matter. Oh, my... Oh, oh. <laughs> this, this is not good. All right, guys, so I'm just an eternal optimist, so I'm just gonna keep trucking along with the idea, the hope, the thought, the prayer, that one of these <laughs> items in this entire video, that one of them will work for me. So let's go ahead and move into blush, which obviously we have the blush from the palette, which I already showed you, but I did pick up an individual blush as well, and this is their Excess Blush high pigment blusher and it's in the shade entice and oh i like the packaging on this i love that all of this is very like similar the vibe the feel it all has a really good look and aesthetic to it and then here's the shade that i picked up and i have to say given how everything is going i'm definitely on track for uh, for a little nice calm moment so let's go ahead and apply this i just have my velvet Lux 316 from it cosmetics and we are very very lightly oh god there is a lot, of, a lot of situation that comes off here. Uh, but we're gonna very lightly just pop this on the cheeks and go from there. All right, guys, so here's the deal. I love the color. I think this is actually really pretty. And thank God, because I needed a win. I needed, <laughs> I just needed a minute where something went right. And in terms of like the color, I, I really like it. it. It applied really nicely. It's just a good, normal matte blush, which gets two thumbs up for me. Um, the only issue that I'm having, and I don't know if it's showing up as much on camera as it is in my monitor, but uh, right here, it looks like I have a nice sunburn line <laughs> from some big old goggles or something. And just remember, that's from the cream blush, okay? That's not from this. That's from the cream blush where it created this happy little line right here on both sides. Um, so that I'm not really obsessed with, but you know, the, the, this part, this went really good. So let's keep on with this trend where I do everything in the wrong order because I'm just, <laughs> I don't care anymore. I'm just having a good time. And uh, we're gonna go in next with some of this Glow Fix Brightening Face Mist. And it says on the back that this will illuminate and brighten your skin whilst holding your makeup in place. And yes, it actually does say whilst. Whilst holding your makeup in place. How lovely. All right, let's go ahead and do a little tester here. Let's give you a little, little spray. Oh boy, that's a smell. It smells like some weird ass 90s candy. Like I can't quite put my finger on it, but that's what it reminds me of. It smells like a, like a, Mm, like a Sour Patch Kid, but from the 90s, back when they tasted like perfume. I'm the only one that knows what I'm talking about, where you would eat candy, and you were just like, yeah, candy! Like, you were so excited that you had candy, that you just, like, ate it, you related, you were so happy about it. But then, like, in the back of your mind, now at the age of 30 years old, you're like, yeah, I very well did eat asbestos when I was a kid. And I liked it. Oh, there's glitter in this. There's glitter in this. When I say glitter, I don't just mean glitter, I mean purple. There's purple-ass glitter in this. What the hell you trying to do? Put glitter in my da G Glitter? Glitter. G glitter. There's glitter. Oh, absolutely fucking lutely not. <laughs> you guys, I'm so pissed. I did one spray, okay? One psh, onto this piece of toilet paper. It was a clean piece of toilet paper, which the fact that I just had to clarify that is beyond terrifying, but nevertheless, it was a clean piece of toilet paper, and I did one spray, okay? This is now covered in glitter. I mean, like, full-on cannon fucking blast covered in glitter. Oh, my God. Absolutely not. No. I don't care how glowy you are. No, no. Absolutely not, you guys. What the hell is it? Can we just have, like, a moment, like, me to all the brands out there, okay? I'm talking to everyone out there that makes makeup. Why you put glitter in your setting sprays? Why you do that? Why do you do us so dirty, okay? If we wanted to be covered in glitter, we would go to a damn Kesha concert or to Coachella or, well, I don't know if that's what they do at Coachella, but I'd imagine, all right, that that's what they do. So instead, I'm gonna grab me a little bit of my real bestie, my real setting spray, the real one, yes, please, my Dewy Glow setting spray. Mm-hmm. Mm. <gasps> you guys, it feels like a trap. <laughs> Look at how beautiful. This is the highlight I just opened up. Is that not like so beautiful looking in the pan? Like the overall packaging presentation, all of that's on point still, but this just looks gorgeous. All right, so really quickly, I did two different swatches. This is the highlight I just showed you, the single pan, and then right next to it, this one is the one out of the three pan highlight, like the, the bar that I picked up. And of the two, like even though I'm not a big fan of the um, the overall look and the fact that it's not like a super highlighty highlight, I do like the fact that this one has more of a like a calm undertone to it, whereas this one over here has like no real undertone. It's more of just like a straight silver. Of course, 
course, that doesn't mean much of anything because we're still gonna test it out. So I'm gonna go in here. This is just a BH number four. This is from their Rose Quartz collection. And I'm gonna go in and just very lightly buff some of uh, this highlight onto my chic bone, which, oh honey, yeah, she's definitely, oh boy, oh boy, does she have some, uh, some highlight to her. Now, I don't think that it's bad. It's just, it's very stark. It's a very harsh highlight. And I prefer a highlight that does kind of like blend into my skin a little bit more. Something that has like maybe a champagne undertone to it or even a pinky undertone. Just something that'll give me a little bit more warmth versus like a stripe of a white highlight because it's just, ugh, you know what I mean? Like it's not really blending in with my skin. So I am gonna go in with a little bit of the one out of the palette here just for the undertone. And I'm gonna add that and kind of use it to blend in that brighter highlight and like maybe that'll help a little. Oh, actually, yeah, it kind of does, okay. And then also just in the interest of fairness here, I'm just gonna buff some of this one into this side, which <laughs> you can't hardly see at all. Um, like on camera, I think you're seeing it a little bit, but in real life, you can barely see it. Like it looks more like a light pink blush in real life than it does as a highlight. Um, so that's a little bit disappointing. Okay, so I mean, it's not like the best thing I've ever seen, but it's also not the worst. Like, I mean, given, given how this whole thing is going, I'm just happy my face isn't burning or on fire or, you know, melting off. All right, so next up, we're gonna get into brows, and I did pick up two new products from their site. They have their XX Fine Brow, which I have in the shade Medium Brown, and then I also picked up their Fix Brow Sculpt and Set Gel, also in the shade Medium Brown. Now, as far as the actual component goes. This is a square pencil, which I think looks pretty cool. Like just aesthetically speaking, I think it's nice to have something that's a little bit different, but the actual product itself is just a pencil type applicator. So you can really get those nice little um, defined brow hair strokes, which I really like there. And then of course on the backside, you have a spoolie. And then my only issue with the brow gel is, you know, in terms of the color, it looks really good, but the actual like viscosity of the liquid itself does make it difficult to apply because I noticed it getting on on the top side of my brow, like above where I would want it. And that is something that happens pretty frequently, especially like I said, when you're dealing with more of a viscous liquid and you don't have a lot of brow hair, which I definitely don't. So that's probably more just like a personal preference thing for me. But as far as the brows overall go, I don't have an issue with the pencil. I think that it worked really well. Um, the creamy like formula, all of that wise, it worked nicely. The only thing that I would caution you on again with this is just be mindful of it getting away from you and in it getting in other places like around your brows. But anyways, moving past brows, it's time to get into eyeshadow. And for that, I actually have two different options here. I have a nice little quad. This is their exposed eyeshadow quad. It's just a nice neutral little fella. You guys know I love me a good neutral quad. So I picked this up. Then I also picked up this fun little devil right here, which says it's a duochrome and it's in the shade Evoke. And it says, where is this? It's a duochrome liquid eyeshadow. And it says it's high pigment, a color shifting formula that transforms your look and will transform your mood. So let's go ahead first and swatch out the duochrome because if I'm being honest, the whole look is gonna be centered around this little fella. So let's take a look at him first and just give it a little swatch. <gasps> oh my God, did you see that? Oh my God, it was like green then blue. Oh my God, it, was that a real duochrome? Oh my God, I think I just died a little. Wait, hold on, green, blue. Is that showing up on camera? <gasps> it's blue right here, but then when I switch it, it's green. Oh my God, you guys, it's a real live duochrome and it's actually decent? No, there's no way. I don't believe it. Hold on, I wanna do another swatch. Okay, let's do this together. So nothing. Okay, let's do like a little, little swatch. Oh my God, it's blue. Okay, to me it's blue. <gasps> and then it's green. Oh, stop it right now. Cause to me right now in this lighting from this angle, it's blue. <gasps> but then from over here, it's green. Oh my God. You guys, it's actually a duochrome. Okay, all right, we're back in the game. Also, really quickly, we are gonna swatch the uh, the eyeshadow quad. Oh, that's beautiful. And then, of course, the mats are um, below it. Oh my gosh. Those are beautiful. All right, you guys, this could be it. This could be our moment. This could be the time when just everything changes, the whole world turns around. 
<sighs> and everything starts to look so good. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my lids and I'm just using a little bit of my Hourglass Concealer. It's in the shade Birch and it's a pretty nice eyeshadow primer. I've used it a lot. And then for eyeshadow, the first thing I'm gonna do is go in with this lighter brown right here. And I'm gonna take that on my Dominique Cosmetics. This is their DS03 Blend in Shade brush. And I am very lightly just going to apply that through the crease and start kind of setting down the entire area. Ooh, that color is really pretty. And then I'm also just with a nice fluffy blending motion here, I'm just gonna throw that up toward the brow bone. And then next with the deeper brown shade, I'm just going in and building up the inner and the outer V just a little bit, just so I have somewhere to blend the uh, the other colors into. All right, and now it's time for the moment of truth here. I'm just gonna go in with the little applicator on the duochrome. And I'm gonna start off by just ever so gently sweeping that across the center portion here of my eye. Before it dries down, I'm gonna go in here with my little Kaleidos brush. This is the Kaleidos S4. And I'm just very, very lightly, very gently using this to blend out the uh, the outer portion of the duochrome. Again, just more so setting up the base because this does have a thinner formula, so I wanna make sure that I've got like everything nice and blended before I get it built up. All right, so here's the, the situation that I'm having right now. I feel like no matter how I try to apply this to my actual eye, it doesn't want to stay like full on, like rich pigmentation on the top. Like it, it seems to be almost like soaking in. It's weird because it ends up looking like this, which is more of like a, almost like a watercolor, like that that level of watered down. And uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of just, I'm having a rough minute with it. So I went ahead and I applied a little bit of the duochrome straight to this brush right here. And I'm seeing if maybe I can kind of pack it on a little bit easier that way. Like maybe it'll make a difference. I'm not, I'm honestly not really sure because I don't care. Like it doesn't bother me if I have to build it up. It doesn't bother me if it has a thinner formula, but it, it is kind of a problem if I can't get like, like a rich duochrome look out of it. You know what I mean? Like that's kind of, kind of important right now. Yeah. In terms of the, uh, the duochrome, I definitely think going in and kind of patting and like pressing it in with a brush is preferred to the actual applicator itself. I just feel like it, like, it built up better and it manipulated better. And I think just as like a final little touch, I want to throw a little bit of the gold from the uh, from the quad here, just a little teeny bit of it right in the dead center on top of the dual chrome just to give it like that little bit of pop. And I don't want the gold to really steal the show. I just want it to more so emphasize. So I'm taking it and kind of tapping it in up the center of the lid. That way it kind of mimics more of a glitter than it does um, like a straight up shimmery eyeshadow. Ooh, so you still get that nice duochrome effect, but with that pop in the middle, ooh, that's pretty. And I'm just gonna go in, of course, and throw a little highlight into my inner eye and my brow bone here. And then next up, of course, we have to do some mascara. So I get my eyelashes all curled up. And I'm gonna go in today with a little bit of my ABH mascara. This is their new Lash Brag Volumizing Mascara. And all right, beautiful people, with that, the rest of the makeup is on and applied. And before we get into the full face and my final wrap-up thoughts, I want to interject really quickly with what happened with the lip because I did pick this up from XX by Revolution. Um, it's just one of their lip glosses. It's in the shade Crave. And this thing is absolutely disgusting in every sense of the word. Like, I applied it and the color had, like, a really pretty sheen to it, so I was really optimistic. But from the moment I applied it everything from like the texture the way it worked onto the lips it didn't jive with my lip liner and just overall like this is just a huge hot no for me and I just wanted to put it out there just so that you guys know if you see this and you're tempted by it because it is pretty and shiny and all of those things um, I'm just I'm not a fan <laughs> at all so just from me to you this is a pass and then just as an FYI after I was done wiping that off I went in with just a nice little coat of this from M Cosmetics it is their true gloss in the shade caramel glow 
Glaze, and I actually use this in my Testing Kathleen Light's Favorite Makeup, which I will link up here. Now from here, let's go ahead and zoom in on the face. Obviously, I'll go ahead and throw that up for you guys, so that way we're both looking at the same thing. Um, I think as far as the full face, like, coming together, I do think I was able to make a lot of these products work, but unfortunately for me, and I think it's something that's not even completely coming across in the up close, but my biggest issue has remained this entire time at a complexion level because in real life, around my mouth, on my forehead, just all of my more like wrinkly and crevassy type areas, um, those are just really, really hurting right now. They just look super settled in, very dry, very cracky. And for me, that's a big no. I do have a feeling with this entire complexion, a lot of these problems are stemming from the foundation. And I say that based off of, you know, during application, how it applied and just the overall consistency of it. I think that uh, I think that this just isn't necessarily the type of foundation that will work for me. And I'm not going to go through every single product and give you like a yes, no, because I, I feel like I did that, you know, kind of as I did the video. But in terms of a lot of these products, like they just they don't work for me. And I feel like a lot of them are just very cheaply made. They come across very, um, very cheap and very just not something that would work for the intended use. Again, whether that's the cream blush palette or this god awful spray here that has glitter in it. Like to me, things like that, they, they are making products that some of them, they look really beautiful and they're putting a lot of money and emphasis on aesthetic, but they're missing the mark in terms of the quality aspect of it. And it really bothers me because I know as a company, like I've seen them do quality. I've seen them put out decent products. But with that being said, there are a couple of products in here that I did enjoy. And of course I wanna give those their moment as well, because if not everything is bad, I'm going to be, you know, upfront and forthcoming with that. So the first one here is, of course, this blush. Again, it's in the shade Entice, and I really like this. I like the color. I love the application. Now, do I think that, like, it's a super special blush and you need to run out and buy it? No, but I do think in terms of this collection that this is a really nice item that they have to offer. And of course, I do have to give a little bit of a nod to the eyeshadows because the quad worked well, as did the liquid, uh, the liquid duo chrome, which you do have to have a little work and a little bit of time involved into the duochrome. But in the end, it worked as did the eyeshadow quad. And guys, I think that that's everything. Please feel free to let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down below. Of course, on the collection, whatever else you'd like to see, what you guys are into right now, I would love to hear from you. And of course, if you haven't done so yet, I would greatly appreciate it if you check me out over on Instagram and on Twitter. They will both be linked down below. Per usual, I'll be honest in telling you, I am way more active over on Instagram. I just love it. I love the interaction. Um, I, this weekend, I loved hanging out with you guys. Well, I went on the quest for us some more. And let me tell you, okay, that as well as receiving my PR from the Ofra and Jen Loves Review collab, it was just a weekend to follow me on Instagram, okay? It was well worth your time. And for those of you that follow me, you can let everyone else know down in the comments because it was just, it was a good, it was a good weekend. It was a good time. It was fun. And I don't know, I just love the relational aspect of Instagram. So check me out. Again, both of those will be listed down below. And of course, if you haven't done so yet, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications here to the wonderful world of YouTube. I do upload typically Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Normally there's three videos a week and they're normally up around 7 a.m., 7.30 a.m. my time here in good old Northern Michigan. This past month, I will admit, it has been a little hit or miss just because I've got a lot going on, you know, in my life. Like I mentioned to you guys, there was a death in the family and then just a lot of other stuff happening. But I am doing my best. Hopefully within the next month, everything will calm down. Everything will be finalized and I will be able to be back on schedule. So if you'd like to subscribe and stick around, I would greatly appreciate appreciate it. But with that, beautiful people, the video has officially come to a close. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope to see you in a video very, very soon. Bye! Cabbage patch. Do the cabbage patch. Uh-huh. Do the cabbage patch. Mm. I don't know what kind of cabbage patch you're in, <laughs> but apparently mine's got a disco ball. <gasps> Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. So let's go ahead and get into today's video, which I don't know if I'm the only one. I am screaming. Am I screaming right now? No, I feel like I am just oh, at the mountain tops. <laughs> okay, Pedro, that was not necessary. <laughs> at this point with them, I just feel like they make up new names constantly. And so, oh, oh, well. Why? <laughs> Come on, focus, focus.